Hi guys, it's Akash from Gwalia. I am here to tell you how to do home automation system using your Android mobile. So here I have two bulbs and a one Android phone. You can see this. This is my Android mobile. This is two bulb which I am going to control with my Android phone. So first see what is this. So here I am opening the app. The app which I have is called RoboRemo app that I am opening. I am going to menu, connect, Bluetooth. I am turning on the Bluetooth. I am turning the IP address of Bluetooth. Select port 1. Now it's configured. Yeah. So here I will use blue on. Let's get blue on. Red on. Red will be on. Blue off, blue will be off. Red off, red will be off. Here you can connect directly with your Android and you can turn on and off with your just mobile. So it's a basic, but it's interesting how we can connect this and this. See, here this is, in, I'm also having this and you can see these are going to control by my mobile anywhere from anywhere so you can turn on multiple bulb at a time you can turn off multiple bulb at a time you can random click as you want okay fine so in this tutorial we are going to see how to do this so let me turn off this bulb first. These are the on. So after turning off, I will just get into the theory how to make home automation system. Okay. So guys, I am here some topics which I will let you know how to do home automation system. See, for the home automation system, we require an SC05 Bluetooth module which is going to pair with Android and with the help of this, we can control any bulb, any TV, any fan or any different type of electrical appliances. For the home automation, we need SC05 module as a Bluetooth module, relay board, Arduino Uno board or you can use any type of Arduino. It can be Mega, it can be Nano, it can be Duo. Android phone, any Android phone. Electrical appliances like the bulb, fridge, television and all. So the, these are the things which we need for doing the home automation system. So get into the SC05. What is it? SC05 Bluetooth module. It is a Bluetooth module. SC05. It has six pins. One, two, three, four, five. Then B. This module works on the operating voltage plus 3.3 volt DC or plus 5.5 volt DC. So, below is the pins configuration that I am going to tell you. First pin is straight pin. A straight pin tells whether the Bluetooth is in connected state or not. Second pin is RX pin. It is the receiver pin. Third one is VX pin. It is transmitter pin. Fourth is ground pin. So it is connected with the ground. Fifth is plus 5 volt. So the SC05 works on 5 volt supply. So it's more plus 5 volt. Six is unable pin. It is used to give the AT commands to the Bluetooth module. So here's the work, here's the configuration of Bluetooth module. You can see it. And the next we are going to tell you relay. What is relay? Relay is an electronic device which connects with the help of mutual induction. Here Three pins on, sorry, it's NO, common NC, VCC, input ground, NO, normally 
referred as normally open. It is open until we didn't apply any signal to it. Second is ground pin. As you all know, what is ground? Third is NC, normally closed. It is always closed until you didn't apply the signal. As soon as you apply the signal, it will get open. That is a function of normally closed. Now, now here we have learned about Bluetooth module, its circuitry and relay board and one Arduino board that I will go to lab in the last that I will tell you. Okay, below is the circuit diagram. You can see what it is basically how to connect all this stuffs so here i am using arduino board here i am using arduino board it have ground pin plus 5 volt pin and digital pin here relay board which have bcc input ground normally open common normally closed here's the main supply so connection is like this the ground of the arduino will go into the ground of the relay the 5 volt of arduino will go into 5 volt of vcc digital pin 7 of the arduino go into input of the relay because digital pin here acting as output and this output is acting as input for the relay board okay at the blow we have one bulb and the this is the AC supply so normally open pin goes to the one side of the bulb and common pin go to the positive side of the AC supply and negative side of AC supply will go into the second side of the bulb so this is a simple diagram not stuff not very hard this is simple diagram with the help of you can do one bulb controlling here I am also used pin 8 to control the next bulb here i am having two bulb here i am having two bulb but i am at the circuit diagram for one so you can just continue this circuit diagram by adding pin 8 to the relay boards that is second relay number of equipment you have is equal to the number of relay board required okay fine so now we see SC05 how Bluetooth module is going to connect with the Arduino board so at the below I am having here us SC05 connection with Arduino SC05 get connect with Arduino but how RX the RX pin of SC05 goes to connect with digital pin 11 of Arduino the TX pin of SC05 connect with the digital pin train ground pin will connect with the ground pin of arduino and vcc of sc05 will connect can be connected with plus 3.3 volt or plus 5.5 volt so i am using it here as a 3.3 volt okay this is a circuit and basically requires of do the home automation which i have told you now i am going to show what the circuitry needed and how to do this so let's discuss about it see here is the bluetooth module it is not connected that's why it is blinking continuously at a rate of one millisecond and here I have one bulb and here I have another bulb and here's the Arduino board which for which I am talking and this all the circuitry I have done here's the relay board there are four relay one two three four with the help of you you can connect four appliances but I have only connected two appliances so this is a basic circuitry of home automation you can see now let's see how i am going to connect once again this see the difference that i am going to connect it i 
I'm just standing on my Android. I don't know how WhatsApp open. See here, I'm opening Roborimo app again. And here, menu, connect, Bluetooth, yes. And I am using the port 1 and it's get connected way. Yeah, it's get connected easily. So after connecting, see the Bluetooth gets blinking at a rate of one time in two seconds. Okay, fine. So here I will do blue on, it's get on. Red on, it's get on. Blue off, it's off. Red off, it's off. So you can also see this. It's a basic and a very simple. You can on and off anywhere you can put it and you can see off, off, on, on, off, off, on, 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 off, off. Fine. So this is the basic circuit diagram which I have provided you for the home automation system. Okay, fine. So huh, the coding of this Arduino. We are you using at the coding side that the programming with Arduino programming based on a processing language. So first we define in the word setup two pins, digital pin seven and digital pin seven eight as a output pin because here seven and eight are connected with the bulb. Let me confirm it is seven or no. Oh yeah, it's seven and eight. 7 and 8 is connected with the bulb and bulb is <laughs> getting as an output and the ground and VCC of Arduino will remain as it is and at the while loop side we will use a character like suppose if at the rate comes then we have to do bulb red on else if has come then we have to do bulb red off has if not come then we have to do blue bulb on if underscore come then we have to do blue bulb off that's the logic behind the circuitry that's you need to do in the programming it's not very hard but it's quite easy you can use just use if else condition if this then this if this then this here you can connect multiple of numbers of bulb at a time. Okay, and at the blow of my video, I will provide you the coding of this video, coding of this circuit, sorry, which you can prepare and you can check, download and just work on it. So if you have any problem, just tell me you have pick one to comment. And if you like my video, thank you and subscribe it please. And so that I can make more and more videos which are beneficial to you okay thank you here's my first video and wait for my next video that is based on next tutorial it might be on humanoid okay thank you have a nice day bye